God give me to drink Give me to drink, give me to drink, give me to drink, give me to drink. My family is thirsty, God. Give me to drink. The nations need water. Make me a well. Make me a well. Make me that well. And give me to drink. Hallelujah. When she said, give me to drink, she said, Lord, I'm willing to be that well that will carry the water to the city. I will carry the water to the city. The water was at the well, but she became the well that the city needed. Is there anybody that can say, Lord, make me that well that will go to the city and give thirsty men to drink? Hello and welcome to Community Worship Center, where the word of God is the broken bread and the naked truth. Join us for our service already in progress. Amazing grace, how sweet the of you have been on the way and on the way with the Lord for many, many years. I think of Bishop Reed and Pastor Reed. I think you have a few years on me. So if you don't mind my saying, there's no retirement in the service of the Lord, is there? <laughs> there's no retirement in the service of the Lord. Pastor Gardner, you've been serving so faithfully. You've been part of my prayers, I want you to know. My wife Stacy and I pray for you. We thank you for your service in the Lord. I thank you for the your worship this morning. You know, I've been in a lot of worship services in my life. Traveled and been in a lot of churches. There's a lot of ways to worship. There's only one God that we worship. Hallelujah. You know, I'm finding I, I've been in some kind of boring worship. But this is not Hallelujah. boring worship every day. <laughs> God bless you, CWC, and those of you watching online. We've been on this road for a while. We know we've faced tribulations. We've faced trials. We've had difficult times. You can't be a Christian and not have trouble. I want to tell you if, you, if you call yourself a Christian and you haven't had trouble, I doubt you're a Christian. The Word of God says we may be hard-pressed, but we're not crushed. We may be perplexed, but not despair. We may have even faced some persecution, but guess what? We're not abandoned. And this world may strike you down, and it will strike you down. But guess what? In Christ Jesus, you are not destroyed. Yes. Why is that? It's because of the unfailing love of God. Nothing will separate us from God's unfailing love. Not death, nor life, 
No angel, no demon, no height, Hallelujah. no depth. Hallelujah. Nothing in all creation can separate us Hallelujah. from the love that's in Jesus Christ. Situations may be difficult in your life right now. Look up. Look up. He's the Lord. He's got it under control, just like Pastor Jacob said. You may not see him working right now, but he's working. He's working. One day we will sing with that great cloud of witnesses that has already testified, that has already testified, and has already sung through many dangers, toils, and in the house but brother Ken can you come and do that one again please can you just come and do that one again please can you just do it again amen come on does everybody just just praise God praise God just lift your hands lift your hands lift your hands praise God he's so good he's so good choosing CWC.